Okay, it took me a long time to dig and find this, but I was deep in the bowels of Smashboards and I found this tool that lets you modify Melee called MEX Tool. I wasn't able to find like any links anywhere else on how to how to change sounds. But if you ever wondered why like some streamers are able to change the soundbite to Link's up B or Donkey Kong's up B to the Taco Bell gong, this is how they did it. This is actually how they did it. So I'm just gonna do a short quick video for you here and I'll show you exactly how that works. So you're gonna go to this GitHub link. I'll leave that in the description for you, just like always. You're gonna click this first one here, mextool.zip. And it's gonna say, this file is not commonly downloaded, maybe dangerous. That's just a testament to how like undercover this is. It's hard to find. Uh, okay, that should download in just a few seconds. I'm gonna click show in folder. That way it pulls me right to it. Go ahead and right click that guy there and just go down to 7-zip or WinRAR if you have it, it's the same deal mostly. But if you have 7-zip, make sure you hit extract to max tool. So that's gonna put it in a folder for you. Okay, double click that and that gets you to mextool.exe. Okay, you can go ahead and make that big. Go down to file and open ISO. And you're gonna find the ISO file that you wanna use. I'm just gonna use a regular fresh Melee ISO. Click open. It's gonna give you this message. Vanilla Melee image detected. Install MEX system. So hit yes. I think that just makes it able for it to work. Now you notice there's a few options for the tags, the tabs here. <laughs> you can actually modify character models, skins, stages, character select screen, really anything you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. My specialty is obviously going to be in sounds. So we'll try that first. So um, this is every single sound in the game. This is how you change it. Uh, main, the first one here, is just going to be the generic sounds that are shared across all the characters um, regardless. So if you want to do that, that's that's where that is. Go buck wild. Uh, what I'm most worried with is uh, character sounds, because I think that's the funniest, in my opinion. Um, so let's change Captain's Captain Falcon's taunt to something funny. So Show me a moves. So yeah. yeah, you're looking for appeal usually if you're trying to change a taunt, it's going to be appeal. So that's how you pick that out. So once you find it under these, I find that it's easier to find it under scripts because it gives you a hint what the sound is. And then it says SFX ID three. So now you're looking for the third one when you get to sounds. There's other values you can change like the reverb level um, the pitch modifier, I'm not sure exactly what that means or what that entails. But here's where you, ed you would edit the value. So you could change that to like negative 300 and then start the game and see what happens. Just make sure you copy your melee ISO before you edit it. So that way you have a backup in case when you edit the game and it crashes when you try and boot it. Because if you try and change things too much, then uh, the game won't work anymore. But we're just doing simple stuff today, so we're going to remember that, that ID 3, and then we're going to go to Sounds. And just click the third one. That's the third ID. Show me a moves. Okay, so we're going to be changing this one. And you notice the numbers over here, obviously that means 1.27 seconds. So when we make our clip, it's got to be around that size. It seems really short, but it's kind of a long amount of time in the grand scheme of things. And um, you you want to match it up so that way it matches the animation too. So uh, that way it just looks better. It looks cleaner that way. So um, I'm going to go to YouTube and find a funny sound. This is the one I picked out. I think it's a super classic Vine back from from uh, when I was younger. Yeah, that was legit. 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 Yeah,
legitness. <laughs> Gets me every time. So you're gonna copy it. I just hit Control C after I click on the link, and then I go to uh, YT MP3. This doesn't always work, so you're gonna wanna just type in YouTube to MP3 and then click on one of the links. And if it doesn't work, then just go to the next one. Uh, this one works fine at the moment, so this is what I'm gonna use. And just hit download once that loads. It's gonna show you an ad there. And boom, no time at all. So that's that's the MP3 file that we're working with. Okay. And then you're gonna go to MP3 cutter because this video, even though we stopped it here, it's 25 seconds long. We don't need the whole thing. So this this one's probably the best one, mp3cut.net. I'm gonna link that in the description for you. And just click open file super simple stuff and then highlight it click open and this is the whole video yeah that was legitness yeah it was huh yeah that was legitness i guess it just repeats a few times for some reason so what we're going to do is we're going to trim it um we'll go ahead and start it over So I guess this second big bump here is where he starts the phrase. That was legitness. Yeah. Okay, and then his friend says, "Yeah, it was." So we're gonna cut that off because it, it's still it's funny, right? But we want to make it sound like there's one person saying it, so it sounds cleaner. So I'm gonna get rid of that last bump in that little section there. That was legitness. So this is 1.4, and again, this is 1.27. It's it's around the ballpark. I wouldn't go more than like half a second over, to be honest with you. Other than that, you're safe. It just kind of crashes the game. Um, okay. So you notice over here we have a few options. You can change the speed. So if you're if the phrase is too long, maybe we want to get to exactly 1.27. You could speed it up and then download it and then uh, you could see the size would be a bit smaller just because it's a shorter shorter phrase. I'm not too worried about that so go ahead and hit reset and then we'll change all your settings. You can even make it higher pitched which is kind of funny I guess. Yeah it's pretty annoying though. And then you can even do a full equalizer on it. Like, it's a bit overboard. But some sounds will be too quiet, so the one I use the most is, like, sound. So you'll notice that the the waves go way up higher. It even shows you, like, visually. So you can play with that if you want. But the main thing you absolutely have to do is you have to click this M4A over here and change it to wave. Because that's the file type that uh, MEX tool reads. So when you're done, go ahead and hit save. Hit save again. Again, you should just take one or two seconds. And then if you want to see it, you can say, oh, well, there's our WAV file. It's 2.242 KB. And then you're going to go back to MEX tool, find the sound. Show me a moves. I usually give another click to make sure I'm replacing the right one. And I hit replace sound. See how that comes up. Okay. There it is under downloads. And remember it's a WAV file. Click open. That was legitness. And you can give it a click and you notice that the amount of time changed. So that's how you know the file is in there. Another indicator that says stereo. I don't really see it as a big problem if it's mono or stereo. There are a few sounds that are naturally stereo. Um, I'm not sure why. That was legitness. But anyways, that's the deal. Um, there's also another feature where you can just delete sounds. If you hit this. Add a sound you don't really tend to use. Because like each sound has its own slot. That's why it's easier to just replace the sound. 
But if you wanted to like mess with when the sound cues, um, what parameters need to be hit in order for a sound to be played, that's probably where you'd use this add button here. But, or um, if you wanted another character to have another character sound, you could hit export, and then you could toss the sound in over um, by replacing another sound with another character. That's also something you can do. So, sounds in the game. Um, you're going to go over to File, and you're going to go to Save. And then this bar will reach to the top. And you'll usually get this message. Sometimes you won't, but usually you will. It says ISO will be rebuilt because of file size. You click OK. OK. So go back to where your ISO is. See, now there's two of them. They're different file size, file shapes. Or sizes, rather. They're different file sizes. So, you, in order to figure out which one's which, you can go to Properties, and you can look at your time and date. Okay, well, I just edited this, like, 30 seconds ago. So this is the one I want to keep. So I'm going to actually rename this. I just put new by it, so that way I know it's it's the newer version we have. If you have something else clever, and go ahead. It doesn't really matter what the name of it is. Just make sure you keep your file extension there, the .iso. Okay, so now we want to test the game, make sure it works. So go ahead and um, get into Slippy. And then click on your game. Hit play just like normal. And then hit full screen. Okay. And you can actually just pop into training mode real quick. You don't have to queue in online. Um, and then pick a stage. And there's a sound in the game. Now, you can't really help this, but there's going to be some reverb on a uh, battlefield. That's going to kind of muddy up the sound. But if you pick a stage that doesn't have reverb, so any stage but these two. Like, let's just go to Yoshi's. Sounds pretty normal. Yeah, and I, I clearly don't mean talking. But uh, that's that shows that it works. Now, if it doesn't work, so you queue into your game, and you either hit online play or you hit training, you're going to hear like an, oh, like the audience size. And uh, that's how you know that the game crashed. And if that happens, then just close out of the game, and then um, pull up pull up your, uh, the previous one. This is the, the one that we saved, so that way it's, it's like it was before. So you can always just, just save back and then delete your new file. And there you go, that's basically how you change your sounds in Melee. Super simple. <laughs> um, definitely leave, uh, any comments below. I'm gonna be answering any questions y'all have. Um, I'll help you as much as I can, but like I said, I only know uh, how to do sounds. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, definitely stop on my stream. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I stream 7 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's loads of fun. I have loads of wacky sound bites, and uh, you get some premium Kirby content. <laughs>